This video shows how to correctly perform sample preparation in a biosafety cabinet with negative staining for grids to use in the Mini-TEM system. Sample preparation is straightforward. A solution containing heavy metal salts, commonly referred to as stain, is applied onto organic samples for an increased contrast and a preservation of the particle integrity by limiting the sample drying on the grid. Before you begin, gather the materials you need, which are pictured and listed. If your grid is not hydrophilized, see the video on sample preparation grid glow discharge. Consult the material safety data sheet information when working with hazardous material, wear appropriate safety equipment, and follow all safety routines in the lab. First, pick up the grid by the edge, avoiding the mesh area. Mount a hydrophilized grid onto the inverted tweezers. This enables the grid to be stable during the entire procedure. Be sure the carbon side of the grid is facing up. Place three microliters of the sample on the grid. It is important during this process to keep the grid wet so that it does not dry out. So be prepared to work efficiently. After waiting 60 seconds, blot the excess of the sample with a wet blotting paper. Immediately after blotting, place three microliters of ultra pure water on the grid and prepare a pipette with three microliters of stain. Then blot the excess liquid from the grid with a wet blotting paper. Immediately after blotting, place the three microliters of stain solution from the prepared pipette on the grid, wait approximately 10 seconds, and then blot the excess of the sample. Finally, place the grid in a grid box until you are ready for imaging. Due to the flow in the biosafety cabinet, be careful to keep the grid from flying away. If your grid appears to be sticky, this can be caused by an excess of sample. Next time, prepare the grid with less sample. When working with hazardous material in a biosafety cabinet, it is important to follow the procedures in the lab. For example, prior to moving it out of the fume hood, all equipment should be adequately decontaminated with oxidizing agents or ethanol, depending on the type and the nature of the hazardous material. This completes Mini-TEM sample preparation in a biosafety cabinet.